Hello, how's it going? My name is Ali, I'm a doctor working in Cambridge, and in this video, made in collaboration with the charity Meningitis Now, we're trying to raise the profile of the meningitis ACWY vaccine. And so in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it, and I'm gonna be imploring you basically that if you are under 18, or if you're a first year university student up till the age of 25, you can get this vaccine for free from your GP. And in fact, this vaccine has been officially recommended by the National Health Service, the NHS, and by the UK government. So if you're under 18 or a first year uni student, then please just get the vaccine. For the record, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm not being paid to say any of this. This is purely a public health announcement because for the last several years, the UK government has been running this initiative to get more and more kids, I say kids, students and stuff vaccinated against meningitis. But even with all that going on, there's still up to a million people in the UK who haven't been vaccinated against meningitis and therefore are at risk. So yeah, again, if you're under 18 or under 25 and a first year at university, please just go get the vaccine, it's free. You might as well, you have nothing to lose. And if you have any questions or anything about this sort of thing, then please do get in touch with meningitis now, it's on my t-shirt. We will put the helpline number over here and in the video description, and they've also got a website and an email address that you can contact whenever to get some advice or to talk through any concerns that you might have about this vaccine. But now for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna explain what vaccination is and why it's good. Secondly, what meningitis is and why it's bad. And thirdly, a little bit more about this men ACWY vaccine that sounds a bit fancy. So what is a vaccine? Basically, a vaccine is an inactivated or weakened form of a disease that when it gets into your body, your body thinks it's the actual disease itself. So let's say you were getting vaccinated against meningitis bacteria. We would inject the weakened form of those bacteria or like, you know, just the shell of those bacteria into your bloodstream. Your body would think it's the bacteria itself. It would mount an immune response. And because the body's immune system is very clever, it would then remember that it fought that bacteria once. And so if you do happen to get the actual bacteria that causes meningitis ever again, then your body has remembered it's encountered it once before and therefore will be a lot better at getting rid of it from your system compared to if it found it for the first time. So yeah, that's basically vaccination in a nutshell. And actually vaccination has saved tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of lives over the last like 200 years. It's one of the best inventions of modern medicine. And actually each year vaccination still helps to save between two and three million people worldwide. So that was vaccination. Let's talk a little bit about meningitis itself and meningitis is basically inflammation of the meninges of the brain. Uh, the meninges are kind of like the layer that surrounds the brain. And meningitis is very bad because if you get it, then apart from getting a really high fever and headaches and just feeling absolutely terrible, you could potentially die from it because obviously it's kind of an infection basically in your brain and that could potentially kill you. This is cutting a very long story very short, so there's gonna be more links in the video description and on this page and stuff to more information about meningitis. But basically, inflammation of the stuff that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord that inflammation is bad and we want to kind of combat it as soon as we can or ideally if we get vaccinated against it we don't even have to combat it in the first place the annoying thing about meningitis is that a it's quite rare which is just kind of good but also its symptoms its signs and symptoms are very similar to that of a flu so over here is going to be a list of all the various signs and symptoms that you can get with meningitis but things that you might get are like just like a really high fever feeling really unwell um, getting a really bad headache Sometimes you get things like neck stiffness and not responding very well to light. If you look at the population of the UK as a whole, around one in 10 people actually carry the bacteria that can cause meningitis. But if you restrict that to just people under the age of 25, that number rises to one in four people. So one in four of us actually have these bacteria that can cause meningitis, which is partly why it's so important that we all get vaccinated against it. And especially when you're in school or university, you are surrounded by lots and lots of other people, some of whom might be carrying this bacteria or who might be unvaccinated. And so the risk actually increases is the more kind of in close proximity with other people that you are. And so to summarize the point of this video, you know, vaccines are good, meningitis is bad, and the UK government and the NHS have introduced this meningitis ACWY vaccine. All that means is that it's a vaccine that covers four different strains of bacterial meningitis. Everyone already gets vaccinated in when the, when the baby's against meningitis B, which is one type of bacteria causing meningitis. But recently, a few years ago, there was a spike in deaths caused by meningitis W. And so the UK government decided, you know what, why don't we introduce a vaccine that covers A, C, W, and Y, and that will hopefully help save lives of these young people that would otherwise have potentially been killed by meningitis. So if you're under the age of 16, you will be offered the meningitis ACWY vaccine at school. And if that's the case, and you're watching this and you're being offered it at school, you should definitely have the vaccine. But if you haven't had it at school and you want to get vaccinated against it, which, you know, you should, and the NHS 
NHS recommends it and, and the government recommends it. Um, if you want to get vaccinated against it, then just contact your GP, say, hey, look, you know, I want to get this meningitis ACWY vaccine and they will give it to you completely free of charge. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Basically, please get vaccinated against meningitis. There's going to be tons and tons of information in the video description or wherever you're watching this video. And if you need more information or you have any questions, you can always call the Meningitis Now helpline. You'll find loads more information on there. Thank you very much for watching and good luck getting vaccinated. Bye-bye.